Samsung fans, things are getting wild again because a brand new wave of One UI 9 leaks just changed everything we thought we knew about Samsung's next major update. Yep, One UI 9 is already in development, and this one isn't just another yearly refresh. It's shaping up to be a complete evolution in how Galaxy devices look, feel, and even think. Early leaks are hinting that Samsung's next big UI update is already being tested behind the scenes, long before anyone expected. And the best part, if you own a Galaxy device, this could be the biggest reason yet to hold on to it or upgrade soon. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sam here! Don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow Galaxy fans, and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into upcoming Samsung updates. Now, let's get into the real story behind One UI 9, because this time, Samsung seems to be going all in. So here's where it gets interesting. One UI 9 is reportedly being built on the next Android version after 16, and sources have confirmed that internal testing has quietly started for select flagship models. This isn't just a rumor anymore. The leaked firmware build spotted on Samsung servers reveals the first signs of One UI 9's foundation, and that means we're closer than anyone imagined to seeing Samsung's most advanced software rollout yet. And based on what's been uncovered so far, Samsung might finally be ready to push AI to a whole new level inside its UI. If you think Galaxy AI was already smart, wait till you see what's next. One UI 9 could bring more proactive on device AI tools that predict your needs before you even tap anything. Think automatic app organization, smarter search, and instant live translation running entirely offline. Samsung's been heavily investing in AI models for mobile, and One UI 9 might be where those experiments finally go mainstream. Rumors even suggest the Gemini powered engine could be integrated more deeply, allowing your phone to summarize, rewrite, and translate text or captions in real time. It's like having your personal digital assistant built directly into your phone's DNA. But before we get too deep into features, let's talk about what most Galaxy users are asking right now. Which phones are actually getting One UI 9? Samsung's update policy is clear, but always sparks debate every year. The good news, if your device launched within the past three years, you're almost guaranteed to be part of the rollout. That includes the Galaxy S22, S23, S24, and the upcoming S25 series, all covered under Samsung's extended seven-year update promise. The foldable lineup is safe too, including the Z Fold 5, Fold 6, and the soon-to-launch Fold 7, plus their flip counterparts. Even the Tab S9 and S10 families are expected to join the party. Now here's a little twist that many people overlook. Mid-range phones are getting more love than ever. Devices like the Galaxy A15 5G, A16 5G, A25 5G, and A36 5G are also on track for One UI 9, showing that Samsung's update strategy is finally leveling the playing field between budget and flagship. The same goes for fan editions like the S23 FE and S24 FE. These are almost certain to qualify. Basically, if your phone shipped with Android 13 or newer, chances are very high that it'll see One UI 9 in the coming year. Of course, the rollout will happen in stages, as always. Flagships will lead the charge, likely starting with the Galaxy S25 series, followed by the previous generations and foldables. After that, mid, range, and budget models will begin receiving the update region by region. Historically, Samsung starts these major One UI updates in late Q4 or early Q1. So if leaks stay on schedule, the first beta could drop even earlier than most expect. But here's where things get really intriguing. Leaks are hinting that Samsung is rethinking its UI philosophy entirely. One UI 9 could shift toward a flatter, cleaner visual design, ditching some of the heavier shadows and layered effects that defined previous versions. The icons are expected to become more minimal and vibrant, animation smoother, and overall responsiveness faster thanks to deeper system optimization. Internal testers claim the interface feels lighter, especially when multitasking or scrolling through heavy apps. And that's not all. Another big clue suggests One UI 9 could bring a brand new lock screen experience, something Samsung has been quietly testing across several internal builds. The customization options might rival what iOS introduced with its widgets and styles, but with Samsung's own spin, allowing users to mix layouts, dynamic wallpapers, and floating clock positions that adapt based on time or activity. Combine that with better AI-driven notifications, and you've got a user experience that could completely redefine how you interact with your phone every single day. Now let's address something fans keep talking about, the update promises. Samsung's move towards seven years of software support is not just a marketing line, it's reshaping how long people actually keep their devices. 
That means phones like the S23 and S24 will still be alive and updated well into the 2030s. Compare that to what we saw just a few years ago, and it's clear that Samsung's long-term software commitment is now one of the best in the industry. Still, there's one big mystery, and it's not about features or eligibility. It's timing. Rumors point to Samsung accelerating its internal testing phase so it can roll out one UI9 alongside the Galaxy S25 launch. If that happens, it could be the first time we see a new Galaxy phone ship with one UI9 Pre installed right out of the box, a major shift from Samsung's usual release pattern. If so, the S25 might not just deboot new hardware, it could mark the start of Samsung's next software era. So, what does all of this mean for you? If you own a recent Galaxy device, the One UI 9 update could make your phone feel brand new again, faster, cleaner, and way smarter. If you've been holding onto an older device, this might be the perfect time to upgrade because the next phase of Samsung's software evolution looks bigger than anything we've seen since One UI first launched years ago. Let me know what you think. Do you believe Samsung will actually surprise us with One UI 9's release earlier than usual? Or will it stick to its traditional slow rollout? Drop your thoughts below, I read every comment. That's all for today. I'll keep tracking the latest leaks and updates so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, this is Sam signing off. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting Samsung stories coming your way. Peace out.